Hey, welcome to Trent Bridge, and you're back in pre-season training after a, a, a brief respite. Yeah, thanks. It's uh, it's good to be here, and as you say, yeah, we've had a, about a month off, but started back on Monday and uh, thoroughly enjoying it so far. Interesting season for you last year, particularly with your success in the Friends Live T20. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, it, as far as Leicester were concerned, it was uh, it was a strange season. He's really struggled in the longer format, but uh, in 2020, were quite a dominant sort of force. So. Um, yeah, an interesting season, but I'm looking forward to getting involved here and, and getting stuck in and hopefully contributing in all forms. You were one of the success stories of Leicester's group stage. What did you put your bowling success down to last season? Um, I think it was just a case of good preparation. Um, having having variations and having them sort of nailed really and, and drilled so you, you know, you're confident and, and ready to use them when the time arises. That Leicester side really punched above its weight in that competition last season. How proud are you to be a part of the, the achievements of that team? Yeah, it was uh, it was great. It was, uh, it was sort of highlight of most of our careers. So it was uh, it was a it was a great experience and one that I'm hoping to emulate with the lads here. So was the Champions League as well. I know injury prevented you taking part in that tournament. How was that experience? Uh, the Champions League was amazing. I did pl I played in the games over there, um, and it was an amazing tournament. Um, really well run, really enjoyable, and one that I've talked to the lads here about at length already and, and we're all quite keen to try and get the outlaws back there next year. How have you settled in and what's been said already about the, the plans and the targets that Nottingham will have next season? Settled in well, uh, moved to the area and uh, which is walking, my flat's walking distance from the ground so that's great. Um, the lads seem very welcoming, the atmosphere is quite relaxed um, although hard working and uh, there's been no real specific chats about about aims for next year but I think it sort of goes without saying that uh, a club of this stature wants to be competing to try and win every format of cricket. Still hopes of further recruitment but Michael Lums, you're the marquee sign we've made so far, what can he add to the Nottingham setup? Well obviously uh, his record and what he's achieved in his career sort of speaks for itself really, he's an international cricketer um, and, and he will bring a wealth of experience from playing all around the world uh, and he's also a real you know, hard working guy and, and a great addition to the dressing room as a character. So. Yeah, looking forward to playing alongside him. Just finally a word on your own ambitions. I know you've had a success in T20, but you've come to Notts to try and make a, an impression in, in all three formats. Well, that's it. Um, not to say that I don't want to, to win the, the 2020 with Notts as well, but um, another sort of ambition of mine is to really impose myself in the four-day arena. Um, I felt aggrieved that uh, at Leicester that I didn't get more opportunities. And I feel that, uh, that I've got a lot to offer with the red ball, and hopefully I can prove that here in in early season and fight my way into the team and try and hold on to a spot.